Well, welcome back to the Survivalist 2008 channel. Today I'd like to talk about a homebrew 4 to 1 current ballon. And as you know, I'm in the process of, of putting together a portable HF station that can be used during SHTF or backpacking or a ham radio outing. So stand by for some information on this ballon. Well, this project turned out well, as you can see, and was very simple to put together. Most all of the parts I ordered online with a few parts that I had here at the house. Now I do have a complete parts list at the end of this video so you might want to check that out. But as you can see the ballon itself turned out to be very small. It's only 3.5 ounces in weight and it's approximately 3 by 2 by 1 inches in diameter. And it also as you can see has BNC connector attached to a 30 foot length of RG174 coax which is a 50 ohm coax. That will be a perfect length for your campsite or a bug out location. At the present time I have not waterproofed this ballon because I'd like to have an opportunity to put the antenna up and ch check it with a SWR and antenna analyzer to see if it's all right and if it is I'll seal this up with some silicon and it'll be ready to go. Now the rear view shows that I have two black cable ties that go through the back case and into the actual ballon that holds the FT140-61 ferrite core toroid in place to keep it from rattling around. The inside photograph shows that it is a very simple wiring job indeed. Here's a photograph of the entire antenna installation. The ballon only weighs 3.5 ounces. The coax weighs 4.8 ounces and the antenna on the fishing reel only weighs 7.8 ounces for a total of 16.1 ounces, just slightly over one pound. As I've said, these parts can easily be found online. Many of them I bought on eBay. Plus, as I've said, I have a parts list at the end of this video. Here's a photograph of some of the wiring details of the actual wiring of the toroid, and it's very simple. Basically, to construct this ballon, I did some internet research, and I came up with these two helpful links. The first one, Sands Contest Group website, is a group in Great Britain, and as you can see, the post is by G4LDS. They give you some very good information on how to build this, so go to that website and follow everything it says there, and I think you'll have no problem. The second link, Owen Duffy Net, is uh, a ham VK1 Old Dominion, VK1 OD, and he would be down in uh, Australia. And he has some other additional information and has some photographs on there that actually uh, shows you in very good uh, detail how to wire this up. Here's the parts list for this particular project. I did not include the prices because I felt like you might have some of these items at the house and you can also do an internet search, go on eBay or go on some of the electronic supply houses and the prices are very reasonable. Well that wraps it up for this video but I'll have a video up real soon and I'll go into a little more detail about the antenna. Then, hopefully soon thereafter that, I'll actually get out in the field and set up the complete setup so you'll be able to see how the antenna goes up and how the coax attaches and we'll have everything set up and maybe even do some uh, actual contacts from the field. So I'm looking forward to that and I hope you are too. And I really appreciate you uh, checking this video out. Thanks for stopping by and as always, take care.